We're digging into some of the coolest features inside Adobe Express for education. And we are starting with Generative AI. Generative AI is designed for safe and responsible classroom use, and it has guardrails in place for using it in K-12. A cartoon blue buffalo drinking hot chocolate, black leather jacket, and red sunglasses sitting on a porch in the winter time. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Generate. Oh my gosh, that. look at that. The great examples. <laughs> and as you can see, we have multiple generations here. We have this other one. We're going to insert Let's say little white bird. And just insert an object. Look at that Aww. cute little bird right there. If students are reading books, stories, the authors are describing characters, they can use those descriptions and generate images based on what they've been learning about. Feature two, everybody. Feature number two. Animate your voice. Wait, what is happening? Oh! Our mascot! Stardust! Right Hi, Get Stardust! Hi, Stardust. Oh, we're so glad you came <laughs> I'm going to go to animate characters here. We have all these different characters that you can choose from, which Stardust is one of the characters. So I love that you love this pirate. <laughs> He's so cool. But let's go ahead and place him right here with the ship behind. I'm gonna tap on record and it's gonna give me a countdown and we'll do a recording here. Oh, I'm Mr. Pirate here. Hey, I'm talking about the Toby Express. Hey, hey, don't forget to click pause when you're done or click done. Hey, I'm talking about the Toby Express. Hey, <laughs> hey. So I can add text, I can add other video pieces to it. I think about all the ways this can bring learning to life for students in the classroom, Absolutely. whether it's a picture of their math problem they're solving or a geometric shape they found on the playground. Next up, let's talk about the drawing feature. So for this one, I'm actually gonna switch over to my iPad oh, hey, to do the drawing. Okay. From the home screen here, I'm going to select the little drawing button right there that you see. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap that. So in this case, let's say I've been reading a book and I wanna generate a coloring page yeah. about a character I was reading about. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and a wizard walking with a cloak, a staff, okay, and is on a hill. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this and then what will happen is it'll open it up, select the brush icon over here, see all these different brushes. Okay, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> And look at that. Let's maybe add like a rainbow coming through here. Let's see. This is accessible to all students. We all speak the language of art and drawing. Okay, mic drop. So we're gonna go back to the desktop version of Adobe Express. Okay. So, and we're going to be exploring the presentation tool. This to me is how kids all of us can present our ideas Absolutely. in professional and creative ways. So let's let's do a little science search right here. And so now I can go through here and customize this. I may want to use this one later on. So we're going to go ahead and duplicate this one. We're just going to drag and drop. So we're going to move this over here. So I can animate each of these assets within this page by going up here to animation. This is a game changer for me. It's the animate all. Because now I can do it all at once. And maybe I like a glide style. Then I go to the next page and I'll go to animation here. And maybe I want, a, you know, just to change it up, we're gonna go popping style. So here we go, present. And there's nothing there. So like today, I'm going to be talking about blah, blah, blah. And then hey. here we go, comes up and then I click again. And then look at that, the yeah. animation just rolls in. And I wanna translate this so Ooh. that I can share with my students who are Spanish speakers or multiple audiences. So up here on the top menu, we have this translate feature. Yep. So over here, we're going to select the language, over 40 languages. So I'm gonna translate this one to Spanish. We'll hit play. Yeah, this is really incredible. Presentación de química. The animation has transferred as well. It's copied everything, it's duplicated everything. This is so powerful and it makes just like the opportunity to make those learning connections even more inclusive. This feature, Claudio, templates. What have you got for us? I'm going to go ahead and show you over there on the left hand side, we have all the menu options. We're going to select or tap or click on templates right there. So I'm going to go over here to output. I'm going to work on an infographic. So here we have language arts and we have social studies. I want to look for some for that range. So okay. like third, fourth, fifth grade. So then it filters more. So maybe I'll go with this one right here. Immediately you see a menu pop yep. up so you can start editing text. So let's go ahead and go Mexico. 
I'm gonna go over here to elements. This is one thing I do love to highlight here. I'm gonna type in Mexico. And so maybe I'll go through here, design assets. So I'm gonna go with that one. And I can now customize it and make this my own. And then once this is ready, I can make this a template for my students. And I can share it with them. Encouraging that creativity in your student projects, Adobe Express for Education has something for everyone. Oh.